In App Inventor 2, the way you build lists is a little bit, dif a bit different. I'm going to show you how, how it works. So I'm going to just define a variable. Okay, so I'll grab an initialized global, and I'm going to change the name to list. Okay, and let's just say I'm going to have a list of names, right? Um, so I'll go to the list folder, and you'll notice there's two blocks here. One's create empty lists. You know, this is more for dynamic lists that the user might add stuff to it. But I'm just going to grab a make a list block. This is for when you know what items are going to be in the list, okay? And what's different about it compared to App Inventor Classic is there's two slots here. And in fact, if I add stuff to this, you know, so if I add Bob and I add another block, I'm just control Command C, Command V to copy Bob. Um, you'll notice, you know, no new slots open up like they did in App Inventor Classic. Okay, but you can add new slots. It's just a little bit different. You have to click on this. Um, they call it the mutator icon. Okay, it allows you to kind of change how the list looks. When I click on it, this little dialog box comes up, and you'll notice this kind of representation kind of matches the the actual one in my code. Okay, and I can just grab this item, and now I have a third slot. Right, I can grab as many as I want and kind of just you know specify how many items my list is going to have. Okay. Um, I have to click on this guy to get, get it out of the way. Now, if I want to go back and have zero items, I could take all these guys out, okay? And you'll notice that the name of the block changed to create empty list. This is really still make a list, but this is really for when you're going to have users add items. And so when your app starts, you don't know how many things are. Even if you have this block out here and you want to change it, you can still click on the mutator and add items. Okay, anyway. This is how you build lists with App Inventor 2.